You guys see this little guy right here? He's been going non-stop all day, ruining all my audio. And I fucking found him finally, so we're gonna, we're gonna put him out. He's in the bag, he almost jumped away. See that? Fuck off. So now that we have that cricket out of the way, let's get started. Here we have a 2019 Dodge Charger. We're gonna finally be showing you guys how to hand cut. First things that I'm gonna be using for this are a 60 degree stainless steel knife and a 30 degree carbon steel knife. Both of these are by NT. In NT cutter handles, this is the most popular knife that you're gonna come across. I'll have links in the video description I'm linking to these things so you can find them real easy. You definitely need to use stainless steel if you're gonna be cutting on glass and then the carbon steel is great for the top edges. But I like that 30 degree because I think you get a much better cut. So I'm a big fan of hand cutting. It's something that I've been doing ever since I started tinning plotters are still good systems as long as you have the right software that goes along with it. Using Sharpies and cutting on glass boards is obviously a safer way to do this to ensure that you really don't cut, you know, the rubber channels or anything like that or damage the glass itself so I can respect stuff like that. But cutting on the vehicle itself is something I do on a daily basis and it just makes things quicker for me. So I can't ever rely on glass boards. I can't ever rely on plotter systems just because I'm running around and I don't have those kinds of luxuries. I mean, if you check out my background a little bit, you'll see there's, there's no glass boards here. So we're gonna be cutting this out and I'll have a lot more hand cutting videos in the future. So let's go ahead and get started on this one and talk about what happens. This is the second time I'm doing this window because that blasted cricket ruined my audio or made it super irritating. So I'm just getting rid of some extra here. And first thing I've done is placed the film on the glass with the liner side out this way and limed up the bottom edge because they're both flat. On the front doors, they're not. So we have one less cut on this door, which is why we're starting with, uh, with this back passenger door. So we're gonna pinch up here. We got our uh, 60 degree stainless steel blade and we're just gonna poke it in up here and then angle it outwards. You'll notice I'm not trying to angle it in. We're just angling it outwards and that ensures that I'm not gonna cut the rubber. Tear it away and then we can shift this over. I like to use these little rubber channels as a guide. So as soon as this stops, it's about like you know, a quarter of an inch this way. Um, and then we can cut our back side. You can cut either one, doesn't matter, but just remember, shift it one way or the other. As soon as you cut it, shift it in the same direction. And then we're gonna go back halfway. And see, I got little rubber channels on both sides, which help me keep a guide. And then we're gonna shift this down a little bit. And we have all our side and bottom cuts tack this firmly to the glass because now we need to roll it down. Hold up the bottom edge and roll down my window. Just a little bit to expose that top edge and also give you a comfortable um, cutting spot. You could shift it down a little bit more. And now we're using our 30 degree blade. So we're gonna start on this side. So we're gonna just poke it up, up here and just try and keep the same angle all the way across. You can shift your body along to try and keep your hands steady. And then there you go. Let's cut, tear away. And now it's a matter of playing connect the dots to round the corners. So we're already really close to the sides with this uh, top part, but we're a little bit farther away for the bottom. And, oh, that's a little bit off. <laughs> Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. All the cuts going into the sides are hidden. Um, so if you're a little bit farther out one way or the other, it's gonna be hidden, it's not a big deal. And then we just wanna like, just round our corners um, a little bit. And then this last one, I usually go up the long trailing edge and then deal with the top, but Depends on where the camera is and what I'm trying to do to make it a little bit more apparent for the cut. So yeah, that's all cut. Now we leave an edge uh, on the top and the side. Squeegee that down and it's all ready for shrinking.
We are over on the driver's side. This is gonna be opposite for me. I normally double cut everything on the passenger side, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go through each window individually. And then we're gonna get into more double cutting. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe if you want to, I don't care. I'm just kidding, I look at those numbers every night. So we're gonna line this bottom up right here, this bottom edge, we can tack it in place um, just to make things a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and start our cut on this side. I'll be doing things opposite on this side just to you know, give you guys maybe a little bit closer view. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so we'll make our cut, tear away. I forgot to trim the top off too. It's something that's helpful, especially when you go to roll down the window. You don't want this film to grab the top spray and then like I said we have these little rubber channels here as a guide we can pull them over overlap it just a bit um, you can go exact just as long as you got about you know an eighth of an inch a quarter of an inch these back doors shift a little bit so poke a little hole here and then just cut at an angle down and then shift it back over and then shift it down there's probably a hundred different ways to cut out a door window. This is just how I like to do it. Free it from the top here, because the paint, normally I'll open this door, but I don't want to mess up the focus. Let's lift it and then drop it down a bit. See, see this? We've got some play on these back windows. So we'll start on this side too again. Um, just poke a little bit of hole. We're using a 30 degree blade for this top edge because they're awesome. And then just keep it steady. Bingo, bingo. And now I have switched knives like a magician. <laughs> Snap off a blade. Uh, we're using the 60 degree now. Around our corner, around our corner. This is like my default mode for rounding corners. There's smarter ways to do this, but this is like what I always learned and I'll default to this because it really doesn't take much time and I, I don't know, I lose my track of thought sometimes, go into autopilot. So once we create a little bit of space, top and bottom, everything's cut, we'll lock it down at the bottom and then it's all ready for shrinking. Okay, so this is gonna be the most difficult for me to cut out because it's on the driver's side and all my hand motions are for the passenger side. I mean, I do them fairly regular on the driver's side, but not really trying to get out of the way of the camera. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. So cut off my piece of, cut off my piece of film. Say that without a knife in my mouth. So. These bottom seals, these curl up, so I won't line the film up directly on the bottom, but I'll get it close. And then let's tack it in place so it's not shifting around and we know for sure our cuts are in place. Get rid of this extra, especially because we got a ton of overlap. You can take some of this extra and like, you know, use it for quarters or whatever you want to do. I'm going to cut off this front edge. I know you can't really see super well, but same, same rule here applies. Ooh, that's loud. All right. So now that we made our cut, tear that away. Spray down the film. Oh no, I forgot one thing. See, I'm losing my, my train of thought here. Let me go ahead and cut this whole bottom section here. So, where's my other piece? So it's split, I just followed this edge and because I basically have it centered in the middle, um, just cut off the sides. You can definitely pull it down further than I did um, if you want to, it's up to you. Shift it over, now let's go ahead and cut this out. Let me just do from bottom to top here, just so you guys maybe can see this better. Normally I go from top to bottom, but you know, there aren't any hard rules on how to do this. Shift it back over. You just gotta keep the blade angled 
you know, the same way. So you're not cutting into the rubber. You use it as a guide, not as a, as a cut plate or something. Shift it over so I got overlaps on all my sides. Tack it down. Curl it up at the bottom so it doesn't catch. Drop it. This is why I set up the camera this way. So now we're gonna cut and hopefully come all the way back this way. So find your starting point with a little bit of blade at the top and just kind of ease onto the glass. And there you go. Tear away, always tear away. and switch blades to stainless for cutting on the glass, even though it's still not 100% safe. I hope I'm not like, there we go. Blocking you guys. Last of the corners. You can also use your fingertip as a guide. It's a good round. Create some space. Tack it down. So if you guys wanna know how to sh snap shrink these, um, I actually have a video on the channel, um, how to shrink door windows or snap shrink them. I'll leave a link in the video description. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be doing some more hand cutting videos, so subscribe if you wanna see more of those. And also check the links in the video descriptions and a link to everything that I used in this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.